Welcome, everybody. Good to see you. <clears throat> Let me just pull out chat. And turn that off. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, everyone. I see a bunch of people I haven't seen before. Welcome, welcome. Pull up your chair. Welcome to my studio. Glad you're here. Good to see you. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's been an awesome stream for how many hours now? Over 12. So thank you so much, Lori, for uh, organizing this and going through all the uh, rigmarole you have to go through to do it. <laughs> And, oh, I see lots of different people. Welcome, welcome. So everybody's had a really good stream, it looks like. Yeah, already 40 people. That's great. So you're all either eating uh, your New Year's Eve dinner or you've had it or you're just snacking. I already had mine. My son cooked tonight, which is nice. You migrate? Yeah. <laughs> you took the bus. <laughs> awesome. So today I'm going to show you my um, year's work. Not all of it, but um, a couple journals that I have that, of what I've done in this year. And that'll probably give you an idea of what I do on this channel. It's basically a teaching channel. I just love to teach you guys, to inspire you, and just I want you to get creative and enjoy what you're doing. And if I can help along the way, all the better. So it's very important to just have your own time to create everybody's got that create urge in them but some have trouble trying to find with what so i'm a mixed media artist and i've i <laughs> work with all kinds of mediums and uh i started out uh with uh, graphite and charcoal when i um, went to school. I went to art school and uh, drawing, we drew mostly with graphite. Uh, what I was taking is uh, portraiture and uh, commercial art back, way back in the days when we didn't have the computers. <laughs> so totally different than what it is today. So there was lots of stuff that we got into. Um, I also took textile art and um, photography. And it's kind of um, merged into each other and helped me with what I do today. So it's kind of neat when you can try all kinds of different mediums. If you're anything like me where you love it all, but you're not sure what you want to do, go into mixed media. <laughs> then you can play with it all. And uh, so I thought I would show you. I, myself, I have done uh, a lot of canvases, but I don't, you know what it is. It's like the, the carpenter. <laughs> and the shoemaker their families go without the shoes in the finished house right well it's the same with um artists at least for me <laughs> i have hardly anything in the house that was made by me my family has all kinds <laughs> my sister has a house full of canvases um my brother's got stuff and um i had a stained glass door for 
I think it was 10 years and I did stained glass before that. So I have stained glass all over the world, um, large windows, uh, and I designed my own patterns. I did um, six um, commissions for Bird Studies Canada, and they're all over the place. Um, but it's been a fun journey, and I've so enjoyed it, and I want to share it with you guys in finding your passion of whatever it is you want to do. And it's just a matter of um, watching everybody and seeing what strikes that little bit of, oh, <laughs> I think I might like to try that. Do it. Because you'll never find out unless you do it, right? So uh, as I said, drawing is my main thing that I started with but it and I think it's one of the most important aspects of uh, my art um, because art uh, revolves around drawing because drawing is how you see things and um, that's how you get your artist eyes I guess you could say so this is an old book. I left my other book upstairs. But this is my last year's book. And this was just some drawings that I did with watercolor. And I like, I love fairies. So I'd like to do more of those. And I just play with, I get an idea in my head and I'll paint or I'll draw and then I'll paint. So it's a matter of just dreaming up stuff and then put it down on paper. And it may not work out the first time around, but that's why you have to play with stuff. Uh, I'm going to turn that down a little bit and um, just see what you can do because you never know. Um, Start drawing your sandwich <laughs> or uh, your keys or um, there's my bag for my pencils. Just start somewhere. Don't think that you have to have this fantastic composition. Just start somewhere and do it. There, a uh, thing of milk, my coffee cup. Um, uh, oh, and you always have to do something upside down in every journal. I'm just saying. <laughs> so <laughs> that was my Valentine bunny. Um, uh, there's my graphite. I love graphite. But I like pen, and I just started getting into pen actually, because um, most of my stuff was uh, graphite and charcoal when I went to school. Um, so some of the things I've just lear started learning in the last mm, 10 years, I guess. Uh, and one thing that I didn't try until 10 years ago was acrylic paint. Cause that wasn't, uh, I was into inks when I went to school, um, printing presses and that type of thing. Uh, so it was inks, not acrylic. Um, <laughs> you're buffering? Anyone else buffering? Let me see. Uh, not buffering. If you're buffering, just um, refresh. Sometimes that helps. And check the little dial below the screen. And sometimes you're on too low. No buffering? Okay. So that was my uh, 2000. And, well, this one is 2018. This one took a while to do. So. Um, 
I don't do it every single day. Now in school you did. You had to fill a sketchbook in a month. <laughs> so, But uh, I also do this type of thing. And if you're not into drawing or you don't want to draw, that's fine. This is gluing, basically. And this is my visual journal. So I find pictures that I like in the magazines and I glue them in and they're kind of associated with whatever was going on that day. Sometimes not, but most of the time, yes. Um, and I just color with inks and stencils. Sometimes I draw um, and I don't do every single day because I, I just can't do that. It's not my thing. But if something's really I want to keep in mind, then I'll put it in a separate book. And then when I have time to look through magazines or ephemera that I have, then I can have that information and put it in this book. So this is kind of like a, a easy way of getting that creative urge out of you. You know, sometimes you want to, you just got to got to do something creative and this is one of the things I do every once in a while and then uh, I make journals too this one's an old one um, and it's all sprays Lindy's sprays and uh, watercolor paper and I don't know I haven't done anything in this book up this one page but yeah I'll get back to it one day and what I've been doing a lot of is watercolor and um, acrylics so this is my last year's acrylic book actually it says 2022 I can't be right. I think I put the wrong date on it. There's no way that's... <laughs> no. It's 2021. That was the wrong date. But we did this um, textural cover. And it's all out of different scraps and um, stamps that I stamped on tissue paper. And then I just covered it. And it was just a uh, backing from, um, oh, what is it? You know, the backings you get off of uh, your paper pads. And I use file folders. So these, yeah, this is last year's. So this is some watercolor that I did. And I like to um, back them on jelly prints that I have because I have a million jelly prints, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but it's addictive and you end up craziness with jelly prints. Like, <laughs> and then a lot of these are classes I did for the members and some are for the Thursday streams that I do. And I teach you how to paint whatever it is I'm doing that day. So every Thursday at 1 um, Eastern, I uh, do my acrylic painting. It's always acrylic. Sometimes I'll throw a little mixed media in it. But most of the time it's um, just acrylic. So I like doing little pockets and stuff. This is a mix of acrylics and uh, watercolor because that's what I did in that year. So different, different ways of doing things. And I like to experiment in techniques. This was fun. Um, this one, I took somebody from the group and got the information about them and made a house up that I thought would go with their personality. <laughs> so it was fun. Um, 
that's Janet's house <laughs> on a little island. Um, and there's the the uh, eager, no, not eager. Um, oh, what is it? The uh, ostrich. Um, I think that was Colleen's house with all the birds. <laughs> Eileen's uh, house, and she's got a direct line to Amazon. <laughs> Xandra's house. It's got the pink and the fish scales and fish because she's a mermaid person. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, <laughs> Kathy Berg. She was collecting Poscas, so I made her house out of Poscas. <laughs> and Jean's house is a lighthouse in the middle of the, of the uh, lake or ocean. <laughs> Lena's house is a castle. And we got an art retreat over here. <laughs> you make up your own little world, right? So we had fun doing that, but uh, different. I just like to play with stuff. <laughs> and even if it's silly, it's fun. And that's the main thing is to have fun with what you're doing. Don't worry about rushing to get it done. Or even if it worked out, as long as you're having fun doing it, that's the main thing. So you want to enjoy what you do. So I just thought I'd show you that one. And I'll show you the one that I did this year. Um, oh, here's another uh, here's another one. This is a beaut. I love this cover. So this was um, I bound it all with ribbon. And that's the other side. And these are actually flowers from my garden. So these are delphiniums and smoke bush flowers some leaves from my garden. These are prints that I do with my leaves. And then again, it's all full of file folders. So file folders are strong, they don't warp, and they're great for practicing on, whether it's drawing, painting, gluing, whatever it is you wanna do. And uh, that's well, and I won't fill my walls with a bunch of art. Maybe down in my studio here I do, but I like painting and drawing so much. I don't want to be limited because I don't have enough wall space, <laughs> right? So that's why I um, I play with file folders, and they're cheap. Even if you have a bunch of file folders and, and um, they're used ones, all the better. Because we're always getting ephemera, right? Like old um, ledger papers, that type of thing. Well, why not use this type of thing? You can just paint over it with some gesso. Um, and I go by the month. That one is... Uh, more watercolor. It was fun. The watercolor is every Tuesday if you're interested in watercolor. So every Tuesday at 1 Eastern, I do watercolor. And we do a number of different things. It's not always the same. That was Skies we did one year. Um, that was a Members stream. That was a members stream. That was a Thursday stream. Most of these are up on my my um, main page if you're looking to see it. And I give uh, traceables for all of these, so you don't have to tra you don't have to draw them yourself. I have traceables for all of these. Um, these were fun. Cut out moths and made um, clothing out of them. <laughs> Using, oh, there's the Dee Dee one. <laughs> that was so good. I got to do more of these. 
So this is actually a magazine picture. And I changed it by putting the windows in, uh, the landing decks right here. <laughs> um, and put in the pterodactyl with the little guy strapped to his back. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. Um, Dee Dee gave us, I don't know, was it three or four different things? And we had to put them all together and make um, some type of page scenery that tells a story and one of them was um a taxi driver a dinosaur i can't remember what the other one i should have wrote it down oh i think it was a year i think it was or a place i can't remember so that's what mine turned out to be so maybe we'll do some more of those <laughs> this coming year that was fun uh different again different and i i go all over the place as far as doing acrylics so i like um abstract so a little vase there to um more of the realism I like it all, like I said, I love it all. So if you want a variety of stuff to do, <laughs> you've found the right place. Because it's, I just can't be limited to, um, I know YouTube says you should keep your niche in one area. I can't do it. I'd have like 10 channels if I had to do that. Um, so I like just to play. These are some of the prints I did on the jelly plate with leaves. And then I just embellish them a little bit. Um, that's some charcoal, or not charcoal, uh, pastels, oil pastel. That's why I have the net over it so it doesn't transfer. Um, yeah, lots of different ones. I put scrap, I use scrapbook paper too. Like this one here is scrapbook paper. And you can paint on scrapbook paper. Yeah. <laughs> um, this was an easy, easy one. This was a silhouette put on top of a calendar page that I had. Very easy. That would be great in a journal and you could journal on the bottom in white pen or orange pen and like i said i have all these with uh that's the original of the little guy i drew that steals my art supplies <laughs> and um, his wings are kind of shiny too he was cute and that's the other one. He's the honey tester that I drew. And these are also, um, I think these are membership ones. And they have a uh, traceable for them too. There's another calendar one I did. Hey, Lena. Happy New Year. <laughs> another one. That's, uh, I was thinking of Xandra with this one because she loves that type. I can't remember, what are the sugar skulls they call them? Oh, this one was fun to do. This was watercolor. This is my membership stream. And there's a traceable for this one too. That, little birds, my grumpy birds. It's a big book. There's lots. This was really cool. This is very tactile. <laughs> it's got, oh, it's very dimensional if you can see that. Lots of uh, stuff on that one. That's one of my other ones. That was in watercolor. Little pocket. Just some somewhere where you can write. This is a hidden pocket that I did so you can write something in there 
think there's one in here too. They're too they're hidden so much I can't find them. <laughs> so like that. And that was uh, another one that's a photograph, I think, of one I did. And this is um, canvas, and I did a little bit of sewing on it. I put little fuzzies on the bird. That was that was the last page. So it was a fun book to do. So. This is this year's, and I don't have anything on the covers. So what I thought we could do today is make covers. So I have a cereal box, I think. That one there. Cereal box and then these... Um, mailers. Save them. They're great for making your um, covers for your books that you make. So that's what I'm going to use. I already taped them together. Let me just take that off. Well, that didn't work. I forgot to erase my name. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. So, this sat thick. This is a concertina style. So, it's like an accordion and it's all done in the file folders also. So, you start off half the year going this way and then when you're done you go the opposite way so these are the um, paintings we did and this again is partly um, Thursday streams and partly uh, uh, membership and I have membership here in YouTube and if you don't like YouTube, which I have found there's quite a few people that don't like YouTube membership, I do have a Patreon membership also. You can find that in my channel page up in the banner. And uh, it's the same thing. So there's no difference in the, um, the two. They're just some people like one or the other. Um, that was my... Uh, wait, what did I call this? The winter hibernation. <laughs> this is on scrapbook paper. So see, I had the, see the wings? Uh, I love the, how the wings turned out. And that was the paint that Xandra gifted me. And that was um, acrylic paint and some pen work on that one. And I have a traceable for that one also. So that was fun. It was a little bit of a long video because it's more detailed. That uh, was an acrylic. And most of these are very beginner friendly. I teach you step by step. So that you'll understand and uh, will be able to do it. Now you may have to do it a couple times. Or you may have to practice one of the techniques on a separate piece of paper. But it will work. It's just a matter of practice. It's like playing the guitar or singing. Nobody knows how to do it right off the bat. You have to practice. And that's the same with art. So uh, again, scrapbook paper in the back, a um, little bit of stenciling in the back with that one. Uh, my grumpy birds again. <laughs> Acrylic uh, landscapes. 
little ducklings. This one was cool. This is really textile. <laughs> this is actually moss. You know how you can get it in the stores in the in the um, floral section in Michaels? They have bags of it. That's what that is. And I just made it into the nest and put a little bit of paint and ink on it. There's scrapbook paper, eggs. There's a little um, wood door. There's pen work. This is a really mixed media one because there's uh, acrylic, watercolor, pen, well, and buttons and wood and, and ephemera. That's packing paper there. <laughs> oh, I put everything, everything but the kitchen sink in that one. A little watercolor bunny. This is acrylic, and I put it on a scrapbook piece of paper. It turned out perfect. So look at your scrapbook papers. A lot of times you can use those for the background, and it saves you some time. And they're archival, so there's nothing wrong with um, uh, bumping up the look of them by painting on them with something. It's... Oh, it's, it's time in Maine. Happy birthday. Or happy birthday. Happy New Year. These were um, making fish into creatures. <laughs> so by putting faces on them. That was a fun stream. That was a stream, I think. Uh, that was a membership. This one. That was just a illustration that I did showing you how simple it is to illustrate um, another Thursday stream um, can't remember if that was a membership or a Thursday stream. This was also done on a scrapbook paper that I had. These bubbles are in the scrapbook paper. Um, some funny making creatures. <laughs> I like doing those. They're fun. And then uh, that's another cute little bird on a scrapbook paper again. That's acrylic paint. Uh, that's one of my, um, I think that was the embossing, yeah. So I actually spray my leaves or flowers with a little bit of water and then put ink from ink pads on them and then I run them through the embossing machine. <laughs> Sometimes it makes a mess, but it's fun. And you get the coolest designs out of them. And they don't lose their uh, natural colors, at the tannins. For some reason, they don't lose it. Um, that's another. That was a uh, members. That was another printing session. This was the jelly print and some leaves. That was a Thursday stream. Thursday stream, I think. And I'm not sure about that one. And that was that. So now that was the end of... That was in August. So then you close it and you open it again and you're into the next half of the year. So see how it works? I think it's cool that you can do that. So these are more. I think that was a I think that was a stream. This was a stream. I love this pumpkin. <laughs> and again, I have traceables for all of these. I was done on um jelly prints. I'm looking 
to find ways of using up my jelly prints. <laughs> so a lot of times I just put them down too. Um, file folder, file folder. That was another file folder. Sunshine, I was teaching you how to do a um, rays of sun. That was cute. This is on a uh, jelly print paper. And there's scrapbook paper making up his mitts and hat. And then uh, acrylic paint for the rest of them. <laughs> that was a member's dream. That was cute. You like that cat? That's the other side of the jelly print. There's my little mushroom village. <laughs> that was fun. There's how to paint snow and highlight for the nighttime. So that was the moon or yeah, I guess the moon and how it's the color of the snow changes from um, at nighttime. It gets more of a purpley tinge to it. And there's my little snow family <laughs> with their car, their truck. Got to have a red pickup, right? So that one was fun to do. And that was a member's stream. And that's scrapbook paper. So see how nice scrapbook paper is? Same with this one. This is scrapbook paper. And you just put the main subject on. You have to look through them, but um, they're easy enough to... I don't know about you guys, but I have a ton of scrapbook paper. I did a little bit of scrapbooking, but I... It wasn't my thing. I was the one thing that surprised me. I thought it would really be something I would love to do, but I found myself stressed when I did it. <laughs> I think it was because there's too much to choose from. And you're looking through stuff so much that it takes forever to get a page done. And I didn't like that. But I can sure use it for painting or drawing. Uh, that's my little cupcake guy for Christmas. And my little snow duck. I like him. We just did him um, a couple weeks ago, I think. There's uh, printables for all these guys. And that's my snowman tower I designed. He's cute. And they're all kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Got weird expressions on their face. I like that. <laughs> and then um, the the snowman was a or Santa was a members um, tutorial. And then that's it. And then you could go back to here again. So that's how a concertina. Or accordion book works, but it's see how it's not as thick because you're using both sides. So when you're putting a, a cover on them, you just want to fit a little bit past the top and the bottom, but keep the sides even because you're going to have to um, put it over. So it's going to actually be stuck to this last page. That's why I didn't do anything on this page. So it's going to be stuck to that. So when we open it, you're going to see this here. So we want to either put scrapbook paper or paint it and then glue it on there. But we're going to first uh, decorate the fronts and then you do the same for the back. So there's I'm just going to use one of these. These are great. Keep them. They're nice and stiff. And that'll do the same thing. And then what you do, uh, I've got some smaller ones here. I'll show you. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to give one of these away as a giveaway. 
Um, so if you're interested in that, in these, stay tuned. Um, so you can put a ribbon in on both sides so that you tie it. But you can still open it on both sides. So this, um, these are the ones that I did with my jelly print. Uh, the, this is the embossing ones that I told you about where I use the ink. And I have a few extra papers. I like ripping them up in different um, ways so that you can make them kind of into a cool little booklet. But they're different because they, you can see the different patterns through them. But you can still write on them. That's what I made them for, that you could write on them as a uh, journal spot. And then I just put a little bit of uh, ink and stenciling in them. So that's what these are. And I just glued them together to make it. These are um, simple uh, printer paper. And I just glued the backs of them together so that, and then there's the, well, this one says 22. I'll give you this one because it doesn't have a date in it. This one does. Unless, unless you want to change that, you could change that if you want. It's up to you. Um, I'll let you decide, one or the other, whoever wins. There's another bit of paper. And it's all kinds of newspaper or magazines, old books, whatever. Flowers. And then the cover's done the same way. And it's a stiff cover. So there's that one. And then there's uh, this one. And this one's got the green ties on it. And a little bit different paper. Jelly prints and uh, embossing. And this one I have a little bit of stitching on it. So let me open it from this side. Now this one, I put a little bit of stuff in it. So I used uh, calendar paper. So I have some stickers in here. A um, little bit of paint I did. But you can write on all this if you want to keep it as a something to write on. So I stitched it and put it in. That. that one opens up to a bigger one like that and that so those are the two so we'll um, do a random.org and I will mail one of these out to whoever is the winner. Um, I, I will show you one more. This one isn't um, going to be or, um, going out. <laughs> this one I did for the membership. And this is a really cool book because none of these papers are glued. It's all intertwined into each other to make the book. So there's flaps. And the way the each long piece, like this is how long they were, the way they were cut and folded into each other makes the book. So I thought this was really cool. And what I did was I used ink and a bit of watercolor with a scrapbook paper. And I made it themed as fall so trees and bees and a, a few flowers so you could keep it like this or write in it so we had hornets that's why I put that in there but see how you have the little section in here so this is a members um, tutorial
So I made it all cohesive. And that's the last one. And then there. So that was that one. I really liked this one. I think it was cool. All right. What time is it? Uh, okay. Just I should be able to get at least one of these done. So this is going to be the front cover. And what I was thinking... I want to use up, I got a ton of paper, stuff like with this on it, or here's one of one of my drawings. There's a copy of, of the painting I did. There's reference photos. Why not use them? So I thought I would combine these with some of my uh, book. This is another... Um, print that I did with uh, plants. I think this one was Akua ink. Feels like it. And this is an Akua ink. This one's got a little bit of shine to it. With gold on it. So I thought I'd use some of these. Tear them up. Use them. In This is a jelly, jelly paper. So you could Put them down and you'll see the other side through it, which is cool. A lot of stencils. That's the Kua ink. Very, very detailed when you use a Kua ink. Some flowers from my garden. You can see hydrangeas. So... We'll use that, and I actually have a, a real leaf that's been pressed. <laughs> we'll use that, too. Why not? All right. So, I was going to also use... I have this here. That was from one of my paintings. Um, and I have some of these. So I thought I'll do a kind of a mishmash of, of collage on there. So I want this figure for sure to go on. Now I could put the whole thing on or I like the blue. There's a little bit of blue in there. Kind of matches her hat, her ribbon. Let's see. This one's pretty. But we'll be covering some of this up, too. So let's find one that I want. And I, I can rip these up, too. This is kind of nice, too. It's got the blue in it. Or, let's see. We've got that, too. I have this with gold. That might look kind of cool. Or even this pink one. Hmm. I like this one. This one's nice too. It takes the gray out of her white. Matches that. So that's kind of cool. Maybe. Hmm. Or I do have these too. That could be in the background. So I could cut her out. This is what I do. Um, it's not always just painting. 
sometimes I collage, sometimes I draw. If I don't see anything that I want, then I'll just draw it. Um, another good thing to do is use your art. A lot of times you can just print out what you already have and use it. Let's just take the one side of her and then uh, put it up against and see what it looks like. We don't have to have the whole thing cut out. We could just have one side. Like that. So I could have it just like that. Or she could be put something on the bottom there like that. That's kind of cool. Let's cut this out. I don't know if I want to paint anything. We could put paint stuff out too. That's easy enough to do. I'll we'll just leave that then. So let's get that. Could be like that. Something with. I think this would look cool. This on the bottom.
All right, I'm back. Down. <laughs> there. Oh, I'd have known, eh? Yeah, the internet. I guess everybody's using it. <laughs> I live in a small town, so yeah. <laughs> oh well. If I go down again, I'll post in ing or ing in Instagram. Jeez. <laughs> oh, thanks. It's crazy. Might have known. All right, I'm gonna before I lose everyone again. I got some. This is just gel matte medium. That's what I use. I would say 90% of the time in my stuff. I just like it. Uh, it's not glossy. So when you close your pages, that's another thing I should have told you. Most of the paint I use in my file folders are craft paint. Because it doesn't stick to each other when you close the uh, page. So let's just smack this on. Before anything else happens. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a thick coat of this on my cover here. And on my paper. Because that way it'll stick really well. Um, I prefer this over glue stick for what I do. Um, in my diary, though, I do use glue stick because it's I'm not using any other uh, medium on it, so that's all I really need. Okay, so I just glue it on. Make sure it's good and and then I'm just gonna do the back of this. Now I'm hoping that this doesn't run. This is a, I believe a inkjet copy. I could be wrong, but I think it's an inkjet. And if it is, uh, some inkjet jet ink will run if you work with it too much. So let's put her right down there. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over top of it slightly. Oh, maybe it wasn't. must have been a laser because it's not, not moving at all. So that's good. Whew. So I'm just going to give it a good coat. And I think, oh, I should have put that under. Now I'm all frazzled. <laughs> I'm all frazzled. I forgot to put this underneath. Get it up where it dries. Can I do it? Can I do it? I think so. It's iffy. But I think I got it before it got too stuck there. <laughs> All right. So I think I want her this like that. So I'm going to put a bunch more on here. And... Let's bring it right up to the top, like that, and put a whole bunch more on. Now, I'm not too fussy about the brand I use. Some people just like certain brands, but I get whatever is on sale basically 
Now I can put her back on. There we go. Let's get some more on my plate. Okay. Yep, she works. A little bit more down there just so that it sticks a better. So use up your, like I was saying, before we were rudely interrupted. <laughs> Just uh, put in your own work, too. These are cool. They're the prints of my, I think these are hydrangea leaves that I cut out. Like, like this is going to be a collage style, so we could use these in here, too. Although I was going to use that, that uh, piece of... Where did I put it? This leaf. So as you can see, there's some actual paint on here. It looks like brass or bronze. That's the back of it. So you could use either side, whatever side you want. You could paint this first, too, if you wanted to. Um, we could put it in. I think I need to get rid of this thing, though. So let's put... Like that, maybe. And this could go over that. That's cool. Let's do that. So it all looks cohesive. So what I'm looking at is the color and maybe the mm, if it this was for winter or flowers, maybe it's whatever topic you want it. So there's fall, gardener, kind of flowery background leaves that type of thing so let's this is dry dry so i'm just gonna throw some of this matte medium on the back of the leaves first just don't be stingy with the matte medium put on a good coat It's always better to have a little bit too much than not enough when you're doing this type of thing. Okay, and this will all dry clear. Let's see, how do we want that? Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay, and then just put a bunch more. Use quite a bit of matte medium up. So get your flowers or uh, leaves, whatever is growing in your area, area or in your yard or something that you really are attracted to as far as leaves and that type of thing, and dry them. Just stick them in between some pages of an old book. That's what I do. And I leave them for about Mm, a month and they're pretty well dry. Put a fair amount of this on. Remember it'll it'll dry clear so you don't have to worry about all these white marks. It will dry clear. And if you want you could put a, a thing of newspaper or a book with um, wax paper on top of this so it doesn't stick. Happy New Year to whoever is celebrating right now. <laughs> then we could cut another one of these out, put it over here if we wanted to. Let's see, just test things out, put them over top. 
Now I could also have uh, put some some of these in and photocopied them, scanned them in. I do have a bunch of scanned images too on my uh, membership. Now you'll have to go and look through the community for those because they're not up in where you see the videos. So they don't post those um, in the video area. But you should see the all the uh, posts for your group, whatever you've decided to uh, go into. Let's see, should I put one there? Um, I don't know. Kind of like it like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, we might take some paint there. Let's see. A little bit of dark paint to make that tree instead of the white. So let's see here. So just an angled brush, some craft paint. I usually use uh, Americana or Delta. And let's just extend this tree here. Can you guys see? Now I can probably take that tree right down into where her hat is. Actually, why don't we just Cover this back in later, and that's easier. So let's just put this in. Why make it harder than what it could be? Okay, there. And let's ex see this branch here. This little branch, we could extend that past here like that and maybe we'll put some branches over here too right, right in here so extend them out here it just adds to your collage when you extend things by overlapping or adding paint extending the uh, landscape or whatever it is you you have going on in yours just play with it now this should be a little bit thicker there because it's I might have to go back over with that just a bit. That's a thicker tree there. Uh, Dorothy, I've been reflecting on the many changes you have put through. Oh, yes. Happy birthday, Dorothy. That was yesterday, right? I hope you had a fantastic day. Yeah, she lived through a lot, eh? Everything is different now, but decided that it may be different because it's it's still good. <laughs> it's 7.15 and you're getting fireworks. Wow. I live in a small town, so probably won't see any fireworks. But they could surprise me. Okay, so what I do now, well, I better just saw that tree there. Let's extend this tree too as well. And we'll dry it or you can leave it and let it dry on its own. Okay. 
this, this limb can go up and that like that. That's good. And then I can put the year on it. Hopefully I'll put the right year this time. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at that. Oh dear. That was a year ahead. <laughs> I guess it was because it was 2021. What a year that was, eh? For everybody. Crazy. So we'll leave it like this for now. And let it dry. And 750 right now well we got enough time we can do the other one and then we'll do the giveaway well oh, that's not it where did I put it there not that one. Oh, this happens to me all the time, you guys. I'm not moving far from my seat, yet I can lose things so easily. Ridiculous. I've got too much, too much out. can't find it. Well, holy geez, where the heck would I put that? Oh, it was with my old book there. Found it. <laughs> Jeez, sorry. When you get older, <laughs> these things happen. Well, let's use this. I like that. Oh, this was something cool that I did. I sandwiched. Um, I think I did these last year. I sandwiched between tissue paper and some ribbon of some sort and let it dry. It actually looks really cool underneath the light because you can see the dimension of it but that would look cool too on something um so this here where did that other i thought i would cut this out and And use that other tree plant, um, this one, behind it. So that could go behind and this could come in here. And... Let's cut this out first. And they, these are going to be my front and back covers. Well, I guess it's not really a back cover because it's really a front cover too, both sides, because one is for the first six months of the year and then the other one is for the second. I like um, accordion books for that. They're so easy to do and I don't know, they're interesting. I like them. Have any of you made any? That's what I'd like to know. And do you like them? How do you use them?
I could keep some of this for snow if I wanted to. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, Keep it like that, and then I could have this down here, like that. And Maybe I shouldn't have. Well, I could use one of these, I think. Or a brown one. Thinking. Just going to cut the jar out a little bit on the bottom so I don't have all this. If that's there, then I could cover this here with this paper or find something really dark in my gel prints. Maybe that might look better. Could have a her actually <laughs> sitting on the branch. Just cut her out. You could fussy cut or whatever. Or keep it like a sticker where you leave the white edge around it because I'm not going to color this in. So maybe that would look better. This is my pumpkin fairy that I drew up. Again, use your, use your originals or take a copy and then uh, play with them. They make cool um, additions to your journals. Just take some of this out. Should have cut her out before I came on. Sorry guys. But a lot of times when I do this type of mixed media, uh, it's more intuitive, I guess you could say. Uh, I don't really have a plan, per se, of how it's going to look in the end. I might have an idea of color and maybe um, theme, but not necessarily what the end product is going to be. And that's okay. A lot of times you end up with some really cool looking things. So I could just cut this. I'm not going to get too fussy with the inside of this here. I'm just going to cut around it. A little bit and just give it a bit of see-through so my um, trees show through. I like also the look of drawing on uh, paper so that it's almost unfinished looking. I don't know why I like that look but I do. So you could do something like that. Cut this out and then she could sit in here <laughs> like that. Let's see what else we got here. 
we have a dark one. Okay, I'm gonna see if I have a dark one. Just hold on. Here's my box. Devin, here's a piece of, of stuff you gave me. This might work. It's got tree leaves and stuff in it. I think that might work. So I'm just going to cut the edge off. The white edge, I don't need that. I could actually rip that or cut it differently so it's not a straight line. Maybe I will. Hmm. Sometimes it looks nicer if you tear than have a straight line. Especially if you're going to do any kind of drawing or painting over top of it. So like that, and then this can go up like that. I want that to fold over. So. I can have my little, I could go like that, long, she's holding, or it could be a tree coming out of the ground, part of the forest. That might look cool too. Yeah, let's do that. So let's cut this out a little bit more on the edge. Then I could also paint around some of this stuff so that it's not uh, so white looking with some watercolor or ink. Or you could use colored pencil. What time is it? 7.30. Okay. I'll just should be able to glue this down and then we'll do the giveaway. How many have we got here? 90. Awesome. All right. I'm, just, I'm gonna cut this out a little bit. Like that will do. Okay, so let's put this down first. Community day meeting. Yeah, eh? There's so many neat people and they all do different stuff. That's what I love. It's a great community. Everyone's welcome. Doesn't matter your your level of art you're doing. There's always something to learn. That's what I like. And everyone's very supportive. You know, no one's going to say you can't join because you don't know something or whatever. Oh, that side's cool too. Hmm. I'm going to use this side. 
This was a good one, Devin. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go on top of it. I don't know what kind of paint this was, but I like it. It's perfect for this journal cover. Okay, and then this is going to go over top. Yep, that's going to look perfect. Just want to make sure I put it over top enough. Yeah, okay. And just going to go over top. And this one must have been a laser print because it's not moving. So I lucked out on these. There's enough on there. On the sides. And then this is going to go like that, I think. So let's put the just in case I don't know about this one being laser jetter of the other. Okay. Just like that. Now these are going to be cute. I don't like it. Okay. And then my little fairy is going to go in here. So these are all um, either reference photos or art from my book that I'm using. I think I want her up like that. So it's going to be a kind of a tree she's sitting in and I could I could use some um, paint just to put over top here maybe we'll see we'll see how much time we got okay and then what is that I like this bee I could use no I think I'm gonna put this B in though. I like this B. This is one of the stamps I have. How many of you have a million stamps? Come on. Tell me the truth. Who's got a ton of stamps? And you hardly use them. You're a collector. <laughs> I do. Well, I've got a ton. Probably, I know people have more than I have, but I don't use them enough. I love them. They're all rubber stamps. I don't care for the uh, other ones. I find they get kind of goopy after a while like um, sticky I don't know and and what's the other thing um, now mind you I use a ton of stencils so I'm not um, embarrassed about having a bunch of stencils <laughs> because I do use them. But I, I like certain types of stencils. My stencils are mainly for background, um, not necessarily a topic like a cow or a barn or something like that. It's usually more for texture. Because I find I get more use out of them. Because how many cows are you going to 
<laughs> use in your stuff. Okay, so let's have the bee flying around. There. Here's our bee. Uh, what time is it? Okay, we got a cup. A little bit more and I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna see I might be able to get away with it like this is incorporated into the woods it's a tree but it just as it goes up it just fades away I could really get really detailed with this, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I haven't got the time. I could go in here and paint all this inside of her, um, wherever the tree comes down. Just paint that. That's how that's how I roll. <laughs> uh, let's see right here. Well, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. You could take a Posca or a colored pencil and do this too. I like to challenge myself. A lot of times it doesn't work out, but that's how you learn, how you experiment and find out what you like and don't like. Here. All right. So then I could put the date down here. So I think that, I think I like that. It's different than my other ones, but I like it. It's part of my art. And part of the reference photos that I have. And I'm using stuff instead of you know, how many uh, stuff, how much stuff have you printed out and it's sitting there and you're not using it because you already used it for something or like I have a ton of reference photos because I like to have them when I do my streams so you guys can see them. So to use them again is uh, a good way of, of using up. I hate waste. All right, put that aside. Okay. Uh, let me go into YouTube so I can see my moderators. I hope I have some on. Okay, Kimberly's here. Um, Devin's here. Are you still here, Devin? And Janet is here. I hope you guys are here because I'm going to put you to work. <laughs> Anyone else? Are you all here? Because I'm here, sort of. So is okay. So I am going to put in from one to one hundred numbers, and you will put in. And everyone can do this. I don't care where you're from. I will mail it out. Um, one number only and i will pr i will type in go when you can go and um, don't chat while i'm doing this because uh it'll make 
it confusing for the moderators too. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, so one, can you see that? One to 100. Just a minute. And all right, go. And it's the first person closest to the number, but not going over that will win. There we are. Give you a little bit longer. Okay. Almost done. All right. We will press seventy. Whoever was 70 or closest to it without going over. Uh, it looks like 69. Janet Burgess, I think. Yeah, Janet, congratulations. Which one do you want? You get to pick. So there's this one that's got the, a little bit of stuff in it. Or this one. Now this one has a date in it of 2022. So you'll have to cover that up. Er, no. Was it 20? Oh, no, you don't have to cover it up if, if you want to use it for 2022. But you could change the three on the back. Which one would you like, my dear? Uh, A or B? A or B? Um, beautiful books, Kathy. A, so this one, the green one. Great. So you can, um, let's see, I'll put my email in. That's my email, and you can email me your address and name, and I will get that out to you uh, next week. Awesome, and I hope you'll enjoy it, because I enjoyed making it. And these are all original prints. So I think you'll like it. So get to, and I will sign it for you. And 
that is the book. All right. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It could be, you could add whatever you want in it. You could just use it as a somewhere to write, or you could use it to put drawings in, or you could glue more stuff in it, whatever. It's yours. You can play with it however you wish. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it. All right. So is there any questions you guys want to ask me in the last little bit? Feel free to ask away whatever you want. Marinette booted me out. Grr. Oh, I will put quotes. Awesome. That's a good idea. I usually, depending, can't make it to midnight. <laughs> the older you get, the more you... Uh, thank you, Kathy, for a wonderful stream. Enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. Hope you guys all come back on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'd love to see you. Thanks, Shannon. Do you prefer watercolor painting more than acrylic painting? Hmm. Uh, they both have their positive things. Um, I enjoy watercolor because it's easier to get certain effects, like um, the softness of it. I love the softness, the look. Uh, you know, like making a misty forest or something like that. It's a little quicker if you're doing like more urban sketching. I love to do. Um, and then acrylics, I love blending with paint. So that's a real tough one. I don't know. I like them both. <laughs> I'm a mixed media artist. I, it's so hard for me to stick to one thing. You do? Yeah. I asked that because I have seen you paint more than watercolors than anything. Yeah. Um, well, I... I started with um, acrylics before watercolor. I was actually scared of watercolor for a long time because everyone kept saying, oh, it's so uncontrollable and da 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 but, And then I just, oh, just do it. <laughs> Find out for yourself. And then uh, I found out the differences of each medium is so different. Same with um, pastels. Um, or charcoal is totally different again. Um, they all have their positive things for doing certain techniques or, or look. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, that's probably why I mix them also. Like I have mixed watercolor and acrylics together because I get a, uh, softer background look with watercolor and then I use the acrylics for more of the detail. Uh, oh, thanks, Sherry. Thanks, Kim.
Yeah, there's just so much out there, isn't there? It, it's it's hard to decide what, um, like in school too. <laughs> One of my highest marks was sculpture. And I haven't touched sculpture since school. And I would love to do it again. But, you know, <laughs> how much can you put in your studio? <laughs> I love sewing. I, I worked in a, um, a fabric store for years. <laughs> I used to make my own clothes. Like, I I just, there's too much stuff out there for me to love. And I've got enough money or space. And, you know, you go down these rabbit holes. Like, I love fabric. But I know that if I start getting into that fabric again, that's a dangerous and expensive hole to fall down in. <laughs> because of the machine and then you want all this fabric <laughs> it's crazy are you <laughs> it's a sewing desk yeah and then um well sculpture you're getting into the clay and um yeah that's a whole other area <laughs> I might, I might, I do have some clay here to use and, and um, sculpting um, plaster scene and stuff like that. I might just fiddle with that just to uh, get that craving gone. <laughs> but yeah, I've been down too many rabbit holes, but it's all been fun. Oh yeah, it is fun. It, it's great fun. Um, it's kind of like the, the old saying, you know, um, what's that saying? Mass, uh, oh, I can't think of it now. You're ma you're not a master of anything. <laughs> I can't stick with one. Th I, I, I'll admit I do get bored of one medium if I if that's all I ever do like I can only do like if I were to do say watercolor for months on end I would end up being losing my um, creativity of that I guess I like to experiment I like to find out I like to challenge myself to Jack of all trades, master of none. Exactly. That's it, Anne. That's what I am. <laughs> yep. That's me. Oh, Malia's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> You're cutting back to four hobbies. <laughs> How many have you got, Janet? Oh, my gosh. I better write your name down too before I forget. You know how it is when you get older. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, too many? <laughs> you don't want to say. <laughs> and then I've got gardening too. Like that takes over my life literally gardening as soon as the the snow is gone sometimes before that <laughs> um it's all about gardening and um i have to really uh force myself almost to go into the studio because when you're in the garden it's it's another um relaxing it's, it, it relieves your stress and it's totally different feeling and i try to incorporate into my uh, work too that's why you see all the jelly prints and stuff like that and try to get um photographs and do flowers and that type of thing 
And then, you know, by the time you're finished gardening during the day, you're so exhausted and you're, well, with me, my knees and hands hurt so much that I can't do anything. I can't go down the stairs. It's my arthritis that, you know, you can only do so much. But it's good for you. Like, I still love it. I, I haven't expanded any of my gardens. <laughs> Usually, in the good old days, every year my gardens would expand uh, a couple feet. <laughs> And then you'd have to go and find new stuff for the edge, right? Yeah, it's good to see all you guys. This was awesome. So who's on next? I do have the, um, down below the, the links. So if someone could put whoever is in next. Now that Scott has a day job, I can go outside before the sun comes up. So perhaps this year I will. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're in Florida, was it, back? Yeah, it's hot there. All right. Uh, craft and mamas. Okay. So make sure you guys get a little drink, go to the powder room, grab a snack and, uh, settle in for another good stream. Thank you so much, Lori, for putting this together. It's always so much fun every year doing this because there's a lot of us that don't do a whole lot on New Year's Eve, and uh, it's great to get together. All right, so I don't think you guys have any more questions, so I'll let you guys go and uh, get ready for Craft and Mama. And uh, uh, it's too, it's been great. Yeah, right, Barb? Yes. Oh, you're welcome. All right, I'll let you guys go, and uh, we'll see you hopefully on Tuesday. Um, that's uh, Watercolor Tuesday. We'll see what we can do. All right, Happy New Year to everyone, and have a blessed uh, New Year, and full of joy, peace, and good health. And... Uh, Thanks for coming. Let you guys go.